Today I'm happy to introduce to the viewers Dr. Bruno Chickley, the developer of lymph drainage therapy. Dr. Chickley, would you please speak to us about the process of discovery and how you came to develop lymph drainage therapy? Sure, sure. I think I have to come back to uh, when I was about 14 years old and uh, I had so much energy that my father started to give me some uh, Aikido classes. And um, that's what the first master coming to, Par coming to Paris. And we were learning how to do Shiatsu. But the way he did to us, he make us feel the body without telling us anything. No map, no points. We had to discover everything ourselves and find, oh, there's something here. Yep, you get a point. So I developed a certain sensitivity um, and I wanted to give health to people. Aikido was making us feeling so good, we wanted to give health and happiness, well-being to people. And um, I went to a um, med school with that sensitivity and um, I learned osteopathy and psychology on the way. And <clears throat> when I, I was asked to uh, begin to, to learn and teach um, the classical um, lymph techniques, and very soon, I could feel a certain rhythm, a certain directions in the vessels that nobody talk about. And when I look into the literature, you can see since um, 1961 and later on 1979, Olszewski especially described a lymphatic rhythm, um, velocity, um, pressure in the lymphatic vessels. Um, then they describe it in animals, actually in animals and humans. And I was finding the exact same rhythm they were describing. And by following the specific rhythms of lymph and the direction, I had incredible results. And everybody wanted to learn it. So I started, started to teach in Paris for the school. And, um, and then the application was so much more um, numerous and so much faster, if you want, because every time you put your hand and feel the rhythm, every time you're efficient, you send the lymph at the same time that nature, that the little inner muscles, the lymphatic vessels that are sending lymph. So you go with that natural automotoricity and you get very fast result with it. And then you can expand to many things because you have a feedback in the body. A lot of classical technique, you just pump that feeling. When you have feedback, then you can play with the depth. Are you on the skin, the mucosa, the muscles, the fascia? Are you on the viscera? And then you can work with different layers of the viscera. For example, the liver is very important. You have to be able to feel the ascending path of lymph in the liver and descending. And people feel that after level one, level two, they usually feel that. And then we can explore and, and we expand it very, very far. Would you also give us an overview of the curriculum and what lymph drainage therapy entails? Actually, it's almost a whole school, believe it or not, because we started with, with lymph and then other fluids, interstitial fluid, um, other body fluids, and fascia. We work with the, the connection between fascia and fluids. But fluid is something that is very important because it has been neglected. And that's something that um, is very non-invasive and gentle. So you could always apply it to babies, to animals. You don't want to get to an animal and stretch their fascia dogs that you all never meet, met or um, and elder people you know and even people that are living you have to have them with something soothing like the fluid the fluid are very secret they're really amazing um, there's a mystery to, inside of them when you touch a lymph you have this deep you know water that have a um, connection with the immune system you know the, the word lymph comes from the number of high number of lymphocytes that you have in lymph. The lymphocytes are patrolling the body and monitoring the immune system and its consciousness, giving you information about what's happening in the body. In the lymph, you have hormones and neuropeptides. So you touch something with a lot of consciousness, with a quality of gentleness and non-invasiveness, and you have incredible results on things you would not have if you were just putting um, only the structure in the body. If you have a fibromyalgia patient, you re-inflame them sometimes often and create, give them more pain by putting on the fascia. 
So now you have a way to be very gentle and very deep in the body. Because what we saw also is the, the depths of the lymph also release some emotional inertia, stagnation. You can have a stagnation of the body, fluid, and, and you realize there's an emotional stagnation. So we are now doing like neuropsychoimmunology, uh, but the lymph is really connected with many things through the autonomic nervous system. You can have some uh, connection with the, uh, the emotions. So it's a, it's a vast domain that I just you know, open a little uh, percentage of what needs to be discovered still. So you need to have a lot of science because it's one of the few um, uh, manual therapy that have a, so much uh, science behind it. So it's, it's well lucky about that. We can inject a dye in a living vessel and see um, where it goes and the speed of the, the displacement of this velocity of this dye. And so a lot of science because also some students want to pass the national certification uh, for uh, lymphedema, for example, PT, some massage therapies, RN. And so you have a lot of science, but I want them to have a lot of experience, experiential, you know, experience during the class, feeling the rhythm, feeling the direction, feeling the depth, and uh, applying it to organ of, si of, uh, of um, viscera or organ of senses, like the inside the mouth, the eyes, the ears, um, applying for the joints, applying for the fascia, and also I want them to combine everything they feel. I want them to be able to see, well, there's a fascia problem, there's a fluid problem, there's a nerve problem, an artery, and be able to see what is the primary restriction, where to work first. And we put together a stroke when you can release fascia and fluid at the same time. It's called lympho lymphofascia release, LFR. And lymphofascia release is a way to release in an area. I mean, you can consider physically, on a physical level, the body is mainly um, fluid, and solid. I mean, if you all the fascia and all the fluid you have cost most of your body. The rest is basically the air between the molecules, without talking about consciousness. So if you can address the fluid and the solid in your body and with those tension, you have an incredible effect. Very deep in the body, releasing some deep adhesions, um, scar tissues, um, and you can affect any area of the body. So I like them to learn in the first level, um, the, the first rhythm of lymph, to learn about you know, the, the main nodes and anatomy and physiology. Level two, we go more in depth, uh, a little bit of viscera now, and um, working application um, for, um, we work on the breast for lactation consultant and all the problem that can be addressed with other techniques. We work on the systemic chiality, we work on deepen uh, the process, new rhythms, Level three, I love it because it's really what I use in my practice every day. Um, application to many viscera and the joints, the bones, the articulations, um, organ of senses. Um, advanced one, we work with more um, application for animals, more bones, more joints, more viscera. Um, tiny little structure like uh, um, the cochlea, the semicircular canal, if you have vertigo or dizziness. And you have a lot of branches if you want to be certified for lymphedema, you have a lymphedema certification, you have a non-lymphedema certification, and you have application for viscera, application for the, the bone, the joints. So you have a large curriculum that is always non-invasive and that helps you for um, many things. Many, many things it sounds like. Thank you so much, Dr. Chickley, for sharing this with us today. I really appreciate it and look forward to hearing more.